we're gonna do two hands on. First is the rubber dam. I'm gonna show you how I prep for that split dam. I'm gonna show you how to fold it into the half and the full envelope. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the split dam, uh, seal it with the template. This is the True Dam by Clinician's Choice. This is latex free. So it's a great option if you uh, just wanna keep everything latex free. You can just take a pen. I like to just do the first molars and you just do two quick dots and then there you go. The different size holes mean different things. For this one, you're gonna go with the largest one because that's where you use for your clamps. And you really wanna have a good punch that's going to punch right through. So that way you don't have a little piece hanging out. All right. So now I have my two holes punched. And this is also super critical. You wanna have good scissors because if you don't have good scissors, it's gonna make your life miserable. It's not gonna cut well, and it's gonna be not much fun. Okay, so you're just gonna do, like I said, a low profile triangle. And then literally put it the other way. This is why sometimes it's nicer to do. <laughs> when you have the patient not in the chair. But basically when you're done, it'll look like a little stingray. When you have a rubber dam, you wanna stretch it. So usually I would recommend stretching it before you punch it, but you wanna stretch it just to kind of get it elastic. It doesn't take much time. You don't have to do much, but just to kind of stretch it out and give it some gifts so that way it doesn't tear on you. There you go. If you wanna do it the conventional way, easy. But you can see there's all this extra material here. Um, this is actually the larger frame. They do make taller frames, so that's not as, as big of a deal. But what I like to do, like I said, is I like to do an envelope. So you can kind of do an envelope two ways. You can do the full envelope where you literally pull and you can kind of let it loosen and pull it up like here. And then you just tuck back the corners. And again, this is where you're gonna need to have a really good quality dam, because if it's not a good quality dam, it's gonna tear, it's gonna tear at the corners. And I don't have as much of the dam below. So this just moved my sting right up a little bit. You can do a half dam. So you have these um, little hooks here on the side. You can literally just go like that. And you still are getting a good amount of the dam, having that depth to have that reservoir without stretching the dam too far. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to use the Kerr clamps, um, but like I said, you can use pretty much any clamp. If the patient has a lot of sensitivity, you can always give them a little bit of anesthesia. You don't have to do a full amount, just a little bit right around the gums, just so that it's a little bit more comfortable for them. Come in and you just place those clamps super gingival and they're sturdy, they're not going anywhere. Now, when you come in with your dam, what I recommend doing is going around one clamp and then the other. So when I come in, I'm gonna come in around the outside of this clamp and then I'm also gonna come in around the outside of this other clamp. Otherwise it starts to bind a little bit. It's easier on the person than it is on the type knot because the type knot doesn't have a lip. But basically you just tuck this up and under the lip and there you go. But you can see here, it's still open. So I don't have good um, isolation yet and I'm not protecting the airway. So this is where I'm gonna bring in my template. Again, I really like it because it's very stiff, it's very viscous and it sets in 30 seconds. So when I come in, you're gonna see, I'm gonna come right back here. I like to go sometimes from the dam to the, the pallet and it's viscous, so it's not going to go anywhere. And you just literally keep coming in and then I like to angle it underneath the clamps. I don't like to go over the clamps because I wanna maintain the access to having the for the forcep to be able to come in and take off the clamps and we're done and then that's it so the nice thing about this compared to like the obturgate or surgical retractors or any kind of retractors is that you're protecting the airway and that's the most important thing and you're also protecting especially if you're working the upper brush from the saliva and you're still getting really good retraction that you wouldn't be getting if you weren't using this so if you're only going to use a rubber dam one way this is the way to do it